What's up, Dane? How are you, man? Good, good. Another great night so far, and hopefully, with no doubt, it's going to continue. So I'm excited. I'm, exci- I'm excited that you're doing remote. So you guys had a camp. So you're in the remote studio tonight. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. I love it. A little bit better uh, <laughs> temperature here and better acoustics for me. So works man, out great. It's been a heck of a night, man. We've had uh, Cora stop by from the Hoosiers, um, Indiana, and like I, I never realized how much of a powerhouse that that's a that's a entity, yeah. man. They're 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 a powerhouse, right? Um, leading yeah. the 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 record still to this day in doubles per season. Um, then we had Courtney yeah. stop by from Nebraska, go Big Red, right? So um, <laughs> it's we get we get all this flack for being Sooners fans, which we are, but we get all this flack about like we love all these programs now. Now I have yeah. like fifty oh, yeah. favorite teams, right? You know, so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and it just keeps growing, right? And one of the things then we talked about is we kind of helped make our staff uh, uh, morph a little bit. Like we've been able to have Coach Coons and then Coach uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Caitlin. We've been working yeah. with an awesome uh, uh, trainer slash player slash athlete slash just guru, um, Kaylee Winslow. Yeah. Um, Kaylee does it all. I think pretty sure Kaylee could probably help me teach me how to hit. If you teach me how to hit, anybody's got yeah. hope, right? <laughs> so, right. So um, Kaylee spent some time, which I'm going to have Kaylee kind of introduce uh, the brand. Uh, in a second, so I don't want to waste any time. I want to bring on one of our new new friends, Kaylee Winslow. Kaylee, yep. how are you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm so happy to be here. Kaylee, thank you thank for, you for joining Dana. us. Yeah, Dana and I are blessed. Why don't you go ahead and do, give us a little introduction of yourself. Tell us about you as a whole, and then we'll kind yeah. of break into the episode with you. Okay, we're yeah. excited. Yeah. yeah, no problem. So my name is Kaylee. I'm 25. I live in Arizona right now, so what I've been doing lately is just instructing privately. I played for over 15 years, all the way through college. So it's really exciting to kind of step back and still be within softball, baseball uh, here on the West Coast for sure. I'm from the East Coast, so it's really exciting to kind of step away from the norm and kind of make a name for myself on the complete opposite side of the country. So I'm excited <laughs> just every day learning something new, getting my feet wet and something different. I love it. Kayla, you definitely made a name for yourself because I came across you when I first began talking to you and honestly kind of asked you to be a part of our show with like insultants and things like that. You're like, how do you know me? I'm like, I'm not that creepy guy on Facebook. I promise. I've been watching your work, right? And your your brand yeah. speaks for itself, which we're, we're excited to get into. So Dana and I are going to ask you some questions that we're going to run yeah. past you and we want to have a little, uh, little chat with you, okay? So yeah. All right. Then go ahead, man. Uh, yeah. Our first question is, uh, during your playing career, you said you've been playing for about 15 years. What was it that first got you into wanting to take that next step and help the the next generation by by training? What what kind of got you springboarded into doing that? So I started playing when I was seven, like normal people do. My mom just said, hey, let's get a sport going. And I just loved involving myself with everyone on the team. And I'm a big helper just as a person. I just love to help people. But what really set it off for me was – you know, going from 12 years old to 14 and I had to either cut it or keep going. And I was like, I'm going to continue this. And I just, I go 1000% with everything I do. Mm -hmm. And I noticed, you know, if someone was struggling here or doing this and that, I'm going to reach a handout. And that's kind of what got my foot Mm -hmm. wet into coaching. And I just took with that and ran with it. So I even coached in the off season during college, I was coaching a travel team and, you know, still doing lessons on the side because I just love doing it that much. I love it. That's it, there's a, there's Dana. I'm telling you, when I first met you, Kaylee, there's a there's a, a, I, I call it a, aggression, a positive aggression. Like you are, let's go get it done. Let's get it done. What does it take to be better? There's this uh, this go mode that I just I just uh, I love. So uh, the way that you go about attacking your craft, your teaching, your athletics, like who you are in life, it's just it's all commendable. I love it. So there had to be a part when this all began though, because I know you uh, me and you have talked many times and there's a love for softball um, training, but was there other sports and you narrowed it down? Like, all right, I'm going to go with softball or like, no, nah, just one mm-hmm. day you decided. How did it go into all softball all in, if you will? Yeah. So I did softball and basketball all the way up until high school about sophomore year. But what really set it off that softball was it for me was the fact that I couldn't stop thinking about it. When I was at basketball, I'm thinking about softball. I'm the one <laughs> chucking the basketball all the way through the half court. Like they said, you know, pass it to Kaylee, have them, have them throw it all the way half court. So I was like, okay, I'm in the wrong place right now. I need to go put my cleats on and yeah. actually step away from this. So that's what decided it for me. 
Mm, I love it. So when I, I think about what I learned, uh, I think I shared the story with Dane and maybe Kaylee. I knew that I was not going to play sports when it was my my job to take the last shot buzzer beater. And I shot it the wrong direction for the wrong team in my fifth grade <laughs> year. I knew, I'm just kidding. But I really was almost that bad. I knew I wasn't going to play at that point. So there had to be a turning point, which I love. Like, was there ever like a moment or did it just day over day? Because you're, th- you're saying I'm talking about softball, thinking about it, living and breathing it. Was <laughs> it just every day or was there like you went to a tournament? Was there a defining moment for you that made you feel like softball yeah. what was your was your thing, you know? I think definitely from when I went from 12 to 14 competitive ball. So really heavy travel schedule, you know, traveling three hours for practice. What really set it off for me is when I started to get things to click. And that's my favorite part about being instructors, watching someone finally get it. That one thing you've been struggling with for months and it finally makes sense. And I started to do that with little things within the game. And I just got addicted to that. I was like, I want that feeling all the time. And I want to be able to help people get that feeling all the time. Cause it just, it's a whole different experience when it makes sense. Oh, it's contagious. Yeah. That's yeah. A, yeah. yeah. And, and, and whenever you work with some of those younger uh, players and athletes, what is the, what is your favorite part about it? Is the physical things, the teaching of the techniques, or is it kind of the, you delve into the mental side of the game as well with them? I think what my favorite part is, is just getting to know each of my players differently. Mm-hmm. I take time to let them just ramble, let them talk because building that rapport with these kids is so important. And I just feel like if they can trust me and if I can show them what I'm doing, and if I can't do it, I won't ever tell someone to do something that I can't do. So I think that's another big thing is just building that trust and just letting them know that I'm with you. I'll do it with you kind of thing. Mm. There's, there's, there's definitely winning is contagious and it's not just winning. Isn't just about the scoreboard, but winning at life, right. Winning at that next lesson, maybe that next at bat, that next, uh, you know, from first to third, like those type of things were little wins, right? I think you do a good job of celebrating all the successes and some of the kids kind of overlook that, that, Hey, maybe they got struck out, but they struck out, um, because, but they didn't sit by the batter's box or maybe they got on base versus beginning a home run, things like that. Right. There's all these little wins. And I think it's important the way you aggressively celebrate every win. That's really cool. Um, when you look at what you're doing, there's a lot of cool things coming up for Kaylee's brand, right? Uh, the next 12 months is exciting. Spent some time playing, obviously had a great stellar career Which we could take a whole episode talking about that alone, <laughs> but I really wanted to talk about that transition from player to coach slash trainer. What's the next 12 months looking like for you and your brand and, uh, and Kaylee in general, you know? Yeah. So in the next 12 months, I am going to be working with Krieger athletics with Marcus Jensen and it's a brand new travel team. Uh, they, we just started about a year and a half ago. So I'll be running the softball side, hopefully taking over in the next year or so. And what I'm going to be working towards is getting my uh, personal trainer license as well as mm. hopefully getting, you know, my own space and my own brand, things like that. So I'm really excited about it. Um, did we say Kaylee, was it Nike or Under Armour or do we know yet? Cause that's so cool. So our travel team is Nike and I'm hoping that, you know, eventually after time I can also use Nike, but that's what our team is right now is Nike. Sponsored. I love it. Well, okay. well my, my, my branding is Hey dudes. I'm kidding. <laughs> so, I'm kidding. So, no I, I had another question. Whenever you're going and you've been through softball, starting way back when going through all these seasons, are, are there some influences that you've kind of, uh, took, uh, listen to that have helped you through this and what are some of the influences that you've had in your life to help you through not only softball but now you take some of that and help these younger athletes Mm, absolutely so definitely my mom you know she's Mm -hmm. one's been there from day one pushing me I almost quit you know middle school transition to high school I was like I don't know if I can do this and she's like you know you put this much work in let's keep going Mm -hmm. so definitely my mom once I got to travel ball I had my coach uh, Steve Muma he really pushed me beyond my limits and that's what genuinely got me ready for college ball and I had my college coach Chris Kohlmeyer do the same thing and just it's really about building friendships and relationships with these people and I still talk to them almost all the time Mm -hmm. and just tell them about my successes and little wins and things like that and they're just always happy for me and it's awesome Mm -hmm. 
And I think, Dane, we've we've said many times, and Kaylee, you're now stepping into that role, which is really cool, where look at the kids that are going to say, what Coach Kaylee taught me, right? Like, yeah. um, look at what Coach – like, I look back, to be honest, Coach Jackson, I remember him as, as clear as day, my fourth grade football coach. I'll never forget it. Like, there's those moments of, like, I remember this certain person that stood out to me, right? And they're going to look at Coach Kaylee as, like, Coach Kaylee has been my mentor, my influence. How cool is that, that you're still playing, you're still at the top of your game <laughs> athletically and all that, and then now kids are going to be like, Coach Kaylee taught me like i just i get excited about that awesome day and i <laughs> yeah. talk about all the time of you're now giving back yeah. to others in the same way someone gave to you you know so absolutely so i know there's a moment before we go into some fun light-hearted rapid fire stuff but i told you i got you and i'm gonna go five for five <laughs> sorry, Kayla, i promise um there's all another right. thing I, I know you want to talk about um there's a big part of what you like to the journey the overcoming some obstacles right yeah. and there's a personal testimony yeah. that we wanted to give you a chance to share why don't you break that yeah. down for a minute before we go into the rapid fire kaylee yeah absolutely so uh with any sport it's a mental game as well as a physical game and you know i had to overcome five knee surgeries and i had wow. my latest acl oh, wow. tear in 2019 playing oklahoma live on espn and you know i took those nine months recovered and then we had COVID hit so that was a, mm. a big turn for me and that's how i progressively packed up and moved to arizona and wanted to just start fresh and you know do my own thing at that point so yeah. with you know having all those injuries recovery it, that's a big thing on the mental and then as well as you know being honestly a black non-binary person I'm mm -hmm. constantly against all odds. So for me, I'm constantly pushing boundaries, being the one that stands out because at the end of the day, there's not anyone like me. And I know that, mm -hmm. and I know that my presence is known and that's what drives me every single day. Mm -hmm. So you talk about, I mean, think about this, that gives these kids, which I, I, I'm, I'm glad you're okay. But injuries almost can be like a, yeah. a teachable moment, right? Like you overcame mm -hmm. not one, not two, five injuries right like five, five surgeries right and you think about that that mental thing that's huge on somebody's mind yeah. to still get out there and still play it I, I i tell these kids all the time injuries are not forever right and and even if they are forever you can still overcome it you can train you did what yeah. is your training to overcome that like how much yeah. rehab if you want to go into that how long did it take to get back on yeah. on, on track if you will yeah, absolutely. So I had three ACLs between both knees. So I was kind of mm. much a pro. I knew what happened as soon as it, I did it. And mm. I would go to college practice. I would go to college weights and I would go to the therapy side right after. So I was doing mm. all three, you know, doing my off season things, all those necessary aspects to get back in the game. I was outside trying to get there. So mm. look at, the recovery really wasn't that bad for me, honestly, but you know, it's, it's more the mental thing. It's the waking yep. up, knowing you're going to have that extra workout, knowing that you're sore, continue to push through it for sure. Yeah. So when you, when you talk about that for a second, because we've had kids, Kaylee, from 12U to 18U, Dan, you can talk about this too. Yep. Um, this is, I'm jumping ahead, but there has to be like, did you, coach, ever tell you, hey, you're going to sit this game out to rest? Did you have to go yep. through that and like overcome that mindset of, hey, I know coach is looking out for me. Did you have to go through that too uh, at all? Absolutely. I felt like I was ready earlier than, you know, what the trainer is saying, like, you know, let's give it this extra time. And, you know, that's, you know, the toughest yeah. part, because I just want to be out there more than anything. But, you know, ultimately, it's about what's smart for the body, what's going to be better longevity. So, you know, knowing your role at the end of the day is also very important. Mm, that's good. Dan, that's and, and, awesome. you, and, and do you think that that mindset that you've gone through each and every time, not that it gets easier, but do you help that think that's helped you uh, recover quicker in the you know, the ones that kept going from two to three to four to the fifth surgeries and rehab, do you think that mindset made you stronger, made you uh, more apt to get back faster, you know, even faster than what they thought, you know, they may have tried to say, well, you're not ready yet. Absolutely. My biggest thing is knowing that I can push myself, you know, to a healthy limit as well, but knowing that if someone gives me the opportunity and I'm ready, I'm going to jump on it. So it's just about preparing myself, not only physically, but mentally, because again, with multiple surgeries and just even one, you know, it's about preparing yourself mentally to get back in the game, being game ready, if you will. I love it. So Kaylee, when I think about um, just, wow, I'm just, I'm making notes. I always make pages of notes, right? And I love mm -hmm. the breakdown of what you're doing. So I take a, a quick moment. Um, I have a lot of fun talking deep, right? I, I'm getting a lot of this, but I'm going to mm -hmm. transition into a little segment. Dane and I always bet on this, right? So, okay. Dane, we're going to bet on um, rapid fire. Uh, Dane, you got your picks? 
Oh, Dan, you got your picks. You ready? Yeah. On that? Yeah, I think so. So mm-hmm. I'm going, I'm going five for five. I'm going, I'm taking home <laughs> the glory. I'm taking home the Super Bowl, the women's calls world series. I'm taking home a bowling trophy and I'm taking back the cornhole tournament all in this one right now. You ready? So, all right. All right. Um, Here we go. So, <laughs> so there's a couple questions, Kaylee, that I'm going to run past you. The fans give us weird rando stuff. Like, yeah. these are, like I don't know where they get these yeah. questions from, like the <laughs> deepest parts of the internet. Okay. So okay, um, you are, requ- you're required to represent in the world Olympics of digital world Olympics. And you have to play one of two games in the world Olympics digitally. Are you going with angry birds or words with friends in the digital world Olympics? If there's such a thing, angry, mm, angry birds. <laughs> Dana, right. one for one. Where you at, yeah, bro? Where you off, at? To a good, off to a good start. You, you, you got go. that one? You got that one? Yep. yep. Okay. Can't so, go wrong okay. with the angry birds. You just can't so, go wrong with it. <laughs> so next one. Okay. This, again, rando stuff. I swear they troll this stuff. So next question. <laughs> when you're looking – when you're having to decide to do one of these two things. Now, granted, if you're able to successfully do this, you get a million dollars, okay? So right. um, you have to bowl a p- perfect 300 in bowling barefoot. That's, the, that's question one, bowling barefoot, or jump on a trampoline for an hour in cleats without puncturing the trampoline. Are you going to try to bowl barefoot or trampoline with cleats? Bowl barefoot. Oh, I had you with cleats. I was like, man, I, I thought after the, okay. I thought, right, I'm gonna, yeah. That's hard. I, I, I'm, that's hard. I'm hefty. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Got you. So, plus you have the still, you have the still spikes. Right. The odds so, are against you. The odds are against you. I should have thought of that. Still spikes. <laughs> so next ah. question. So you have to do a uh, – so we're going to take a squirt gun, a water gun contest, right? Now they're going to fill it with one or two things. They're going to fill it with Tabasco or barbecue sauce, which is going to be your go-to. Like I'm loading my water gun with Tabasco or barbecue sauce. Which one are you going with? Tabasco. Dang, I'm one for three, Dane. How about you? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, I got that one. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking like it's so a little bit, a little bit thicker, right? You can make, you know, spray and pray and all that. So, oh man. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> down, <laughs> so down the road, when the Kaylee Winslow's a sponsorship goes live and Apple's, you know, and uh, Under Armour's picked you up and, you know, they make the movie about you and all that. It's pretty cool. <laughs> like this the, down the road. So are you going to want, so you know how they always, Every movie I've ever seen, they're always on a phone call. At some point throughout the movie, they have their phone, right? I don't know why. Are right. you going to have – is Apple in the Kaylee Winslow movie, is Apple going to sponsor you or Android going to sponsor you? Apple. Man, okay. I give up. I should have known that because I texted you and I saw the bubbles. I'm like, you got right. to <laughs> – Okay, I'm one for four. Dane, what would you have on that? No, I had Android on that too. <sighs> what? Okay, so, oh. so I, Dane, I owe you – so far I owe you lunch. Last question question five <laughs> so when you do a breakdown of let's say um whatever sport you choose it could be soccer it could be softball be pick your sport and you're you have a chance to win a championship okay any sport would it be at this point and this might be a little bit deep of a question maybe not meant for rapid fire at this point in your career would you rather win a championship as a player or as a coach mm, very good question i would rather win it as a coach because okay. I've done it as a player, and I want to see it from the other side. I got that one right. All yeah. right, good. So, Dane and I respectfully went two for five. Minus minus. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, Dane, how'd you do, man? Lunch is coming my way. Three for five right. today. There you oh. go. So, there we good go. job. Thank you, Kaylee. So, I'll give that last segment to Dane to finish it up. So, Okay, All Kaylee. Right. On, on this segment, we call it an open mic. We kind of open the floor up to our guests to, you know, tell our listeners and our uh, – viewers maybe a mantra or a uh, philosophy that you've carried through the younger years and that you've came up through and, and you use now as coaching that will kind of help pick the spirits up of somebody help them to the next level uh, just something they can carry through their careers is there one or two things that you've carried with you that you just like to pass on to the younger viewers and listeners that's good Yeah, absolutely. So my biggest thing would definitely be, I like to tell myself it's me versus me because in this sport, it's a game of failure as well as there's several people going for your spot. So if it's me versus me, I know that I can control myself and what I can bring to the table. So I know that I can also push myself beyond my limits. So Mm. definitely knowing that if that's something that I can control, then I can Mm -hmm. push myself as far as possible. And that's exactly Mm -hmm. how I want my players to feel and know that, you know, if they are having a bad day, if something isn't going right, they can still pick themselves back up because at the end of the day, 
everyone else is against you except yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Man, I, I, I think Dan about that too. And there's, there's this, I, Kaylee, we've kind of chatted about this a little bit before. There's like a sense of it's only me that can tell myself I can't get that championship. Only me that yeah. can tell myself I yeah. can't get that raise. Maybe I can't, you know, talk to ask that person out. Maybe I'm yeah. the only one that can tell myself I can't make run that mile or it goes into life. Maybe I'm the only person that can tell myself I can't lose the weight or quit smoking. You know, whatever the person is trying to do in their yeah. life, only you can tell yourself you can't do that. And that's awesome. So absolutely. Um, I'm wow. definitely with that for sure. And I always tell myself and, you know, I remind my players as well that, you know, positive thinking does go a long way because, you know, at the end of the day, sometimes you do need to <laughs> fake it until you make it. And mm. if yeah. you're telling yourself, you know, I will get it, I will get it, you know, being positive, yeah. manifesting, all of those things that will come at the end of the day. Yeah. Wow. Uh-huh. That's well, Kaylee, like I said, Dana and I talk about this a lot that the uh the, the sport is in good hands and people like yourself, uh, which again I have admired your work for a long time. Yeah. And again, I know it's like at the beginning when we first started talking, it sounded just like where did this come from? We've been watching what you do from your playing days to your teaching. Um, I want people to learn from people like you. Like you yeah. know that it's all about, hey, you're the only person that can tell yourself no. So stop telling yourself no. It's important, yeah. you know. So um I just I love that about you, Kaylee. There's a yeah. sense of a mm-hmm. pride, the aggression. I feel better when I talk to people like you. I want to go out yeah. there and like, maybe Definitely. not softball, but I want to go out there and maybe go for, maybe increase my running. Like I do two, three miles a day run. Let me do four, right? Like you talk about yeah. pushing yourself and, and beating yourself, right? So it's just, yeah. uh, I can't say it better. So Kaylee, um, we, 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 Dan and I have talked about it. So we'll talk more about making sure that you're part of our, there's a rotation yeah. we'll talk through as far as the staff. Um, we will make that happen. We definitely want you yeah. to be a part of the ongoing rotation of this show. Uh, people yeah. need to hear your message. It's important. What you do yeah. is highly important and, and kids everywhere need to hear that. Yeah. So thank you for, for, for coming on board. Okay. So, well, no and, I'll, and I'll even add to that. I mean, not just kids need to hear it. Adults, Sometimes yeah. we need to hear it too. You know, somebody to bring you along and either, tell you something you didn't know or refresh something that they've heard. And it's, it's great to see that that message carries on through the, wow. through the years. So I wow. love that. Thank you. Kaylee, do you have anything you want to add to that and your first your debut, if you will, anything you want to add to the episode or, uh, you know, I just, I try to make an impact yeah, with everyone I talk to, <laughs> you know, whether it's, you know, you know, kids from six, I work with people up to 20 plus, you know, so mm. it's never too late mm. to learn something new and, You know, I'm learning new things every day as an instructor, you know, still trying to keep up with my own skills. Like, like I said, I won't tell my kids to do something if I can't do it. And Mm. it's all about how I represent myself because end of the day, I'm a reflection of myself Mm. and how other people will view me. So it's really important that, you know, I stick to what I'm saying. (laughs) Wow. Well, um, Dane and Kaylee, this will be the first of many. Like I said, we have an ever uh, evolving amazing team and i again i want people like you spreading the message out there of again believing in yourself i had had a kid tell me one time kaylee that their most important part of their week is softball um what they do home life you know there's kids that come from backgrounds that maybe they don't have the best home life they're not treated like they should be at home and they come into this family this umbrella and these these kids embrace them and wrap their arms around and make them feel love for just being there i'm just here with my teammates right and there's there's nothing more important to me than this is way beyond softball this is family this is a life i don't know i just i could gush on it but like the way you're teaching Mm -hmm. these kids to believe in themselves um that's priceless whatever you get paid is not enough because it's priceless what you're (laughs) teaching them so um i love that we can't wait to grow your brand we'll be in your corner of course helping you yeah, we'll definitely. kind of talk more about those segments in the days ahead, but thanks for making your debut and uh, we can't wait to make this a recurring thing. Okay. So absolutely. Thank you guys so much. I had a great uh, yes. time. Oh, we will be in, we'll be in touch. We'll walk through that and Kayla, Kayla will be in, uh, we'll be in touch very soon and have a, a great night. Okay. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. You guys too. Thanks, Dane. So I'm telling you, Kaylee's is uh, as awesome as they come. The, the drive, the, yeah. com- the competitiveness, but also the believing yeah. in yourself at the same time. What do you say about that, Dane? That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, so, it, it's a message that's, you know, is all this time that's been passed down from all these coaches from multiple sports and, and in multiple uh, career and life paths, yeah. but to hear it, but to hear it keep resonating through the years, through the younger generation and they still use that. And they not that they just use the same old things that the older people told them They add to it. And it makes that message even that much stronger for mm-hmm. those that are there, they're teaching. So wow. I love to hear that. I mean, every time we hear somebody say something that I've heard, they add just a something a little extra to it that makes it even that much more wow. solid. So that's wow. a great message to hear. 
I always say those episodes that impress me and I've, I've been, we've been through th- like thousands of these, but there's just an aggression that like a positive, I say positive aggression where it's like, Hey, yeah. let's make you better. How do we do it right now? Right. And let's not wait. Yeah. Let's not wait. And Oh, we'll see. Let's do it right now. I love that yeah. sense of urgency, yeah. right? Let, let's be better today. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. wow. Well, Dane, that what a heck of a way to end the week, right? Kaylee uh, yeah, didn't man. disappoint <laughs> this weekend. This weekend uh, uh, also sp- surprises. So we're Oklahoma native. So Sunday, Mr. OU stops by. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. uh, what a Sunday night with the head coach of Florida State, Lonnie Alameda oh, nice. stops by. So it's going to be a great uh, nightcap on Sunday night, at Lonnie Alameda. So yeah. um, the days are ahead are looking bright. So the show continues to grow. Um, we're just glad that we could have all of you along for the ride. And thanks for all yeah, you do. Definitely. And as we always say on behalf of the Dane and Josh show, don't forget that we love you. And Dane. Thank you for listening. <laughs>